Today, I'm gonna show you how to transform your flat footage into a perfectly color graded clip with some stylistic choices. I see so many people struggle with color grading and just colors in general on their edits. So I'm gonna show you what to look for when color grading, how to know when you're done, and then how to add those stylistic choices to make your video a little bit more unique. If that sounds interesting to you, drop a like on the video and let's get into it. You see in our starting clip, it's very desaturated and everything looks flat, basically meaning the blacks are almost like a gray. The highlights are kind of just not, not really super like bright. It looks very dull and boring and a great way to reintroduce those colors and also the blacks and whites is to go to the curves and kind of make this S curve. So on the left hand side of the curves editor is the shadows and then on the right hand side is the highlights and then everything in between is the midtones. So by dragging down the left hand side you're making the shadows darker and by dragging up the right hand side you're reintroducing the brightness to those highlights. Basically in the simplest terms you're adding contrast back in your footage. So our footage is already starting to look a lot better. But let's introduce some more contrast, bring up the highlights, bring down the shadows, bring up the whites and down the blacks. Basically again adding contrast back into our footage. I'm going to bring up the saturation a little bit and then play with the temperature and tint to get the look that I want. And you can see how quickly you can transform your flat footage into actual proper color graded footage if you know the techniques and you know what you're actually doing and you know where you want to stop at. So now that you have a basic understanding of how to transform your flat footage, I'm gonna show you some of my favorite ways and techniques to color grade footage to get that stylized look. But a great way to get creative with color grading is actually using some LUTs. Basically just preset color grading for you to give you a really good base starting point. My friend Tiny Tapes was actually nice enough to send over his ultimate LUT pack and I've been using it a decent amount. And it's really nice to have like almost 300 LUTs to choose from that way you don't have to like really struggle to get creative and you can get a good starting point and then tweak it to your liking. I'll have those linked down in the description. So if you don't already have LUTs or you want some really high quality ones, I'd highly recommend them because I've been loving using them. Also, if you use code Brian at checkout, you'll get $5 off that order. To use one of these LUTs in the creative tab under Lumetri Color, if you click browse, you can then navigate to any LUTs that you have. Again, just using the ultimate LUT bundle from Tiny Tapes, linked in the description. I went ahead and used LUT 36, which I actually think looks pretty good. I don't think I would have come up with this color grade and like color scheme myself, but I do like the way it looks. And then like always, with presets or anything. I don't like keeping it exactly default. So I went back into the curves, added some contrast, and then I played around with the basic correction to get a more stylized look that I wanted. You can see here, I'm clicking through a few different LUTs from the pack just to see if there's a better option, something that I like more. But for this one, I honestly like the first one we added, the LUT 36. I like the stylized kind of film look. So for my essentials bundle, I'm dragging in my film look adjustment layer preset. It's basically Gaussian blur, some noise and some color correction. And then I'm also showing you an alternative, a plugin that I use called Dehancer. Basically helps you get the film look as well. I like using them both. Honestly, I use my essentials bundle with all the film stuff and Dehancer a decent amount. It really just depends on your footage and what you're really trying to get in your actual edit. And then Tapes also sent over his vintage film mats overlays, which kind of just give you like the stylized look of like kind of like a dirty film camera and then unchecking uniform scale and playing with the width so it fits our footage properly. I'll have those linked in the description as well if you're interested in that film look. So moving on to the second clip, I was having a hard time finding a LUT that I actually really liked on the project, but I did go ahead and end up with 167. I think it looks really clean. I really like having all these different options that we can quickly cycle through different looks looks and like kind of understand what looks best on your footage. Again, tweaking it a little bit, doing this S curve and then kind of like washing out the blacks here. If you drag up this last point on the bottom left, it'll make the blacks look a little bit more grayed out, which is kind of like reminiscent of that film look as well. And then lastly, let's do this like matrix kind of styled scene. I want to have something like really contrast heavy. So I'm just going to look for something that's like kind of grungy. First one I added on is like this teal and blue LUT, which is cool, but not really what I'm looking for in this exact color grade. But this one right here, 258 is almost exactly what I'm looking for. It's still just lacking a little bit of that contrast. So I'm going in, adding that contrast in, in the S curve now. And now it's like that dark, rungy kind of look. Also ended up playing with the basic correction again, just to make it a little bit more contrast heavy. And then lastly, I brought in this wiggle 16 millimeter border from that vintage map pack and then removed that other border from the dog clip and then unchecked uniform scale and scaled it properly to our footage. And then lastly, just duplicated that dog clip and lined up the top of the frame with that bottom of that film border and then duplicated it one more time and then lined up the bottom part of the frame with the top of the film border. That way it just helps sell the effect a little bit more. Hopefully, this video helped you understand color grading more and know when to actually be done and like kind of know what it's supposed to look like when it's done. I see so many people struggle and just keep their footage flat and not have a stylized look and not really understand like when to make their footage look a certain way. If you're not already using LUTs to help you color grade your footage or the LUTs you have are just not that good, I'd highly recommend the ultimate LUT bundle from Tiny Tapes. Like I said, I'll have it linked in the description. And if you use code Brian at checkout, you'll get $5 off your order. I'll also have all the other assets that I used in this video linked down in the description. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.